So hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another project in Java. Uh, so it's using servlet and JSP and to manage the my backend it's using MySQL. So as our other project we are using MySQL workbench to manage the database and you can see here the database table and okay also it's following MBC architecture and uh, configure over the Maven tool. So you can see the form.xml, so it's using Maven, it's following the complete MVC architecture and for to manage the front-end resources, it's using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and to manage the front-end response, it's using JSP and to manage the controller side, it's using servlet and to manage the model side, it's using MySQL, JDBC. So let's run code and let's run the code and check the functionality how it is working there. So when I'm going to run the project, I have to right click on the code and project root folder and select as a run as and click on the run on server. As we are using Tomcat 815 server to deploy the application, so my currently server uh, that I'm using for this project is Tomcat and the version is 8.5. So my server is already running there. So if I'm going to click on the next and click on the finish, automatically the application will launch. And okay, so when we run it, uh, this is the home page. And over the home home page, you can see like uh, this is a welcome page, or you can say the front end page. So whenever you need to run the application from the start, for example, I select the server, run on server click on finish it will automatically open that root or home page at the front end side and this is the title there and page title and we have two tabs in the home page one is home and another is product so in the product page you will check complete list of projects that are available in the database also in the left wall uh, we have a category uh, menu here so if user going to select category like office furniture so it will display the data will filter automatically there and only display the category which is really selected here so if i as a user if i select the home furniture it will display the home furniture also we have admin roles so we can add data here according to the requirement so we have admin panel also so we can add the categories we can add more product there okay the other thing uh, a user can register in through the application and if user want to log in, in that uh, we can log in, in the application so if I go to product page and if we perform some search operation let's see I select this product and I enter some product name here and search the data will filter automatically according to the product name here so the next thing in the home page we have this background and simple Heading at the page, it's really simple, and we have a footer here. Okay, so now if I log in as an admin, so it's an online furniture shop, so there will be two roles. The first one will be admin who can add the product, the second will be when we'll be second one will be the customer, or you can say the um, like second user, end user of the application, so it will be customer obviously. And if you go to database and check the database, uh, if you check the uh, database and in the database and view the user table into the user table, we have role ID 1 and 2. So 1 always will be for the admin. So I'm going to log in it now as an admin. I get the data and I already uh, the data is there in my browser. So I'm just going to sign up, sign in in the application. So as an admin, I can add another admin. There can be there can be multiple admin so i can add the admin the admin data will display the front end side like i'm gonna add shop admin name as a shop admin and i'm gonna enter email id shop at the gmail.com and demo at the one to the password Again, I'm going to enter the same password for the confirmation and the login ID will be same as the email ID and the 10 digit phone number and I click on the save. 
So data is saved successfully. Now if I'm gonna check the database table, you can see another record is inserted with row ID one. So this user also can perform an operation as a admin. Now uh, if I go to other categories so I can check the list of categories so right now we have two categories if you want to add more category I can add more so to add a new category just click on the add new and click the enter the category name so I'm gonna add the category is like office furniture or you can say you can say shop furniture I select some image so for example for this I'm gonna select this image or I'm gonna enter some description this is shop and I will click on the save data saved successfully now if you're gonna select the categories you can see the new category is there and the next thing now I can add some product in this category so if I want to add some new product I have one button here as I add new product so go to there and you can see all the selected category all the available categories are here and to the drop down so if I'm gonna add the new category that I recently added which is shop furniture I'm gonna enter the name chair shop chair And I'm going to enter some price. And let's say I'm going to add some chairs. So, for example, I add the same chair there also. And enter some description and click on the save button. So, the product should be displayed there. <coughs> you can see the product is here now into the shop category. Uh, so this is from admin side also admin can uh, check the cell history so there is an option to check the records and you can log out as a now as an admin and let's log in as a user and check for the perform user can perform so simply user can uh, go to add go to uh, like product list uh, and you can add a product there and it's going to redirect on the login page so user must be logging to buy a product so user can sign up or if the already user is registered in the applications we can log in in the application so let's say i'm going to log in with this user demo at the gmail.com so i'm going to log in this user also you can uh, sign up and create a new user and then you can log in into the system this also don't flow and then you can add the things into the card so now the card view will come you can update the quantity from there so if you want to select two and click on the update uh, this will be updated <clears throat> also you can delete the product from here if you want to delete this uh, from card click on the checkout and under the checkout you can see some common uh, information about the user is there and the total price is counting and then click on the shipping charges also there so it's going to including the shipping charges and click on the submit it will redirect to the payment card so card name so for example say I, I add a card name here and add a number then I click on the month year for the expiry date um, Let's say and the CCV number and click on the submit. So when I click on the submit, the product is booked for me and it's there. Also now, okay, so that's it from the uh, online furniture shop. And if you need the source code, you can check the detail in the description box. You can contact us at the jcode one at the gmail.com and uh, we'll provide the link in the description box so you can read out the complete description about the technologies and the functionalities and the models in the application that we are using and 
we also have the remote support if you need to configure that project in your machine we will help you to configure and run the same code in your machine also if you want to learn the development you can go and join the development process uh, how we can develop the project so we have different services you can check the link in the description box and you can contact us over the below um, below details so thank you